Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Amagarm USB rechargeable bike headlight rear light set. Uh, it has a runtime of 10 hours plus with 600 and lumen super bright front lights and back tail LED for light mode fits all bicycles road mountain according to the listing. Usually it is about $20, currently it is listed only for $12.99 with Prime. That's a really good opportunity to get this set. Yeah, and you can not only use that for a bike, you can also use this as a normal flashlight. So let's see how good this is. This is the box, here's the detailed description. What do we get apart from that? Yeah, super brightness, superior endurance, 500 meter light range. I mean, if you're out in the space, yeah, light all, always goes uh, forever. I mean, yeah, that's 500 meters light. Light is never uh, depending, the, or the range of the light is never depending on the light source. It's just depending on what's in between, if there's a fog or dust or wood or whatsoever, forest. So here we have the thing, energy saving, super bright, high power, long life, rechargeable light. Yeah, it, the box is not secured by tape. It's a surprise, but I guess it's still new. Somehow it looks like new. We get these button cells. Why do we need button cells? I've really no clue. I've never seen that in a bike light, but we'll find out. I guess user manual so I'm going to show you that uh, that's always good to have I mean some people want to make a better buy decision some people buy used or some people uh, just tend to lose the instructions hope you can see everything and it's focusing nicely uh, if you don't need that just skip a minute or two if you want to read that, go to the highest settings, 1080p usually, and put it on pause so you have enough time to read everything here. Yeah, pretty good instructions, not too detailed, not too simple. I think it should cover everything. Let's go to the second page here. I hope you can see everything here. Yeah, here we see the battery, so it says rechargeable light, so that's, yeah, looks like it's a rechargeable light, but this is the rechargeable battery, which we have to insert lithium battery. It doesn't say anything about rechargeable, but I guess it's supposed to be, but where is the battery of the headlight? So let's find out what we get here. There's a huge mount here. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. Pretty impressive here. Nice clamp. Definitely very, very sturdy thing here. Bike mount, yeah. That's definitely not a cheap thing. I'm pretty impressed here. USB, micro USB cable here. Yeah, the actual back, like or tail light. Here the rechargeable battery for the main light and here we have the light itself. So pretty impressive construction. Yeah, what I really like and what's the really, really impressive thing here is that we actually get the three different lights and we can point them down or up depending on our needs and the main light is straight. So that's really impressive. I have never seen that. So here, guys, we can turn it on. Yeah, there's no battery inside. Uh, messy thing. I mean, not cheap plastic. Looks like pretty massive, sturdy. Here comes the battery. So I'm going to charge everything. And then, yeah, I will also show you how to insert the battery, of course, first. And then I'm going to charge everything. And then we'll see how this thing really works. Okay, I've been doing a little bit of research on the tail light, if it's rechargeable, and of course it is not. I mean, there is no port to charge, there's nothing. And yeah, when we take it apart, 
you can see how it looks I mean same thing here just these CR2032 uh, batteries these are one-way batteries is is lithium uh, but not I think lithium ion rechargeable and uh, maybe it, it would be possible to charge but there's no charging port here so how we activate that we have to remove the battery here when there's some insulation in between and then a second battery so we can re, uh, we can leave the second battery here and we just put this battery back and then we secure the lid but there's no no charging possibility so in the title of the listing they say rechargeable bike light set which i think is a little bit misleading and yeah i think that's not fair i mean maybe it's a fair price uh, now when it's down to 12 dollar or so when you have the rechargeable uh, headlight and this thing here but it's not a full rechargeable set in the detailed description when you go down a little bit on amazon when you go to the link and scroll down a little bit they call it actually uh, rechargeable by headlight uh, like rechargeable bike headlight plus a free tail light and there they don't call it rechargeable anymore yeah i mean they should actually write this in the title so this is something you put on the seat post so it's a little bit leaning i have already one the bx300 which is anyway actually the better value i mean it's a little bit more expensive it's twenty dollars the bx300 i will put down the link into the description down there so you can check it out as an alternate thing i've already also made a video about that uh, maybe one or two weeks ago and it was really great and then they're both things like the headlight and the tail light both are rechargeable it's a little bit easier i mean this lasts of course for a while but not forever and after that you have to start buying these one-way batteries and uh, these days when we want to have uh, be a little bit more green uh, a little bit more environment friendly yeah that's not the thing which we actually want if you want to have just cheap and good and not 100 percent rechargeable mean yeah it's not a bad thing i mean what we get is really crazy here but the bx300 is not the only option for you as an alternate to this set you could actually uh, buy this set and then use the tail light for something else and buy the low pow uh, the tail light which is a little bit more expensive but it's a huge thing it's fully automated and really high-tech thing and i will do this review also on this channel so if you want to see that too make sure you subscribe to my channel so anyway we have the battery inside we have to put also this battery inside this battery is definitely rechargeable it is i can show you that uh, 3.7 volts 2000 milliampere hour thing that's nothing crazy that's pretty much standard something like this exists since 20 years it's old stuff it should be possible to do better things but it's still standard i mean i'm not complaining other manufacturers are using the same thing too you have to push pretty hard to close that what is possible to do yeah okay i definitely i'm definitely going to charge before i'm using that and after that i uh, should be able to show you how strong this is and what we can do what modes we have we have and what we can do with the light i've been checking regarding an led charging led and it seems there is something inside maybe you can see that it's a little bit red inside maybe that will turn off after charging but there is nothing there is nothing absolutely nothing in the description it looks like there is no other led light here which gives you indication if it's fully charged or not they say yeah it takes about one to two hours so let's see how it looks after two hours if we get a change regarding the led i leave it like this okay the bike light now is fully charged so i've been using this power bank here 
and some when it stopped with the light you remember maybe there was this red light here on the side when I've been charging it and after a couple of hours but it took really long time and after a couple of hours the red light was turned off so obviously yeah the power bank realized that obviously the light was not pulling any electricity and turned off probably i haven't checked the light i mean uh, at the point when it stopped so i don't know if there's a blue light or green or something or just turning off the red light so as long as you see the red light it's obviously charging so and yet yeah, to secure the lid was a little bit difficult you can see here there's something in the middle hope it's focusing maybe now you can see that there's something and you have to really align that it's a little bit small a little bit tricky you have to be a little bit work around it it's not impossible but uh, yeah when it's dark it can be a little bit difficult but usually inside shouldn't be a problem it looks like it's pretty good secured so i don't have the impression that it gets loose anytime soon that's the good thing so let's turn it on and see how the light really works i point it a little bit to the wall here yeah again a little bit problem is the focus so i just press once and then we have the full light here it's a really really strong light as you can see i don't point it directly into the camera but you can see i mean also you see it on my hand i mean that's really really strong and you can focus with pulling uh, or pushing here so i hope you can see that you can really focus it to one point if you really need i mean that's probably not something which you are going to use with a bike but if you're using that uh, during the time when you don't need it for a bike you can use it as a flashlight and then it's maybe really good to have something like that with the bike you probably will use it like this so we push again the button and it's a little bit weak light it's quite a difference so you can see that i mean especially here that's much less the interesting thing is usually this camera has a huge problem when I have LEDs which are a little bit reduced in power. Usually I get this really strange light where it everything is like flickering. I don't see that now here. Maybe could be an indication that it's a little bit better quality LED or just not a brand. I have no clue about that. With uh, normal human eyes, it's not visible anyway, the difference. The flickering is all only uh, visible during, uh, with the camera, but, it, but I don't know if it's how it's on the long term. But I mean, the flashlight is not something which you use every day to read from morning till evening. Anyway, so here we can see. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, I missed that. <laughs> so it didn't just turn down the normal LED. The thing is that instead of the main LED, now the LED is on the side or shining and that's probably the reason why it is not flickering because they do not have to turn down the power of the main light it's just like the uh, the lights on the side are shining with their full power so that's uh, definitely an advantage so but it's not huge the thing is now interesting when i push again you can see all the three lights or working and if you have it like this with a bike usually uh, and also not only with a bike if you are out in the woods i mean you want to point it to some uh, to some point in the distance to see something but there there's no light down there you don't know uh, where you are stepping on i mean uh, there could be some really bad things rocks or same thing with a bike if you're pointing too far away it's difficult to see down and now the thing comes here we can point these lights here down so we have so we can you can adjust it to where you want to have it like uh, you have the main light here and the two of them ha you have down and you have everything visible also on the floor or you can have even one in the middle so you have one really down you have one in the middle and the main light here 
So you have a lot of possibilities. That's really good and looks really sturdy. Doesn't look like uh, these lights will get loose anytime soon. So they are they are really sturdy and yeah, I think you cannot secure them. But I I have no doubt that this will last for quite some time. So I push again. And then we have the flashlight. I mean, it's not an SOS programmed or something like that. It's just normal flashlight. And then we push again and it's off. It get, uh, yeah, it became a little bit warm, not super hot, but of course, yeah, I mean, it's not, nothing new, nothing scary. LEDs get warm. Uh, we cannot prevent that, but it's definitely powerful. It's strong. It's versatile. It's, um, yeah, one of the best lights, which I have ever seen. It looks really really fancy i mean something special if you want to impress people yeah that's the thing to go of course then the mount uh, yeah i mean i've been trying that on my bike work pretty well and the good thing is you have different sizes here i mean that's not a unique thing that's something which a lot of bike mounts have they have dif different thickness uh, regarding this rubber so it should be possible definitely to adjust it to almost any kind of uh, size like diameters here this thing is also really good i mean works definitely perfect to secure it really fast like this when you have it adjusted to the right size we just put it here so we can secure it here pushing down yeah doesn't look too bad. I mean, maybe I was, yeah, I lost this thing here. It would be definitely better if you use this plastic piece to mount it. Otherwise, yeah, it's, it's not perfect. I think it came with this thing. So you have to make sure that you don't lose that. Apart from that, you can really uh, fast open and remove that. So that's a good thing. I mean, the idea with this bracket is actually not really bad the pro and, and it's really sturdy, but somehow it doesn't fit perfectly. I mean, as you can see, and the problem is uh, that this metal thing, this screw here is really touching the light. And yes, yeah, you can see there's already some damage here which is a little bit annoying. That's something which is, uh, I don't know, uh, design, which is not working. I mean, it, it works, but it, it's not. It's definitely not perfect. There should be more gap or more protection here. That's, uh, that's definitely not good. I mean, you cannot put this here. You would probably have to put this here, but it's also difficult to hold it, yeah. This, I mean, it's super sturdy, but it could be made definitely better. So if you have it like here on the bike, you can adjust it. That's the good thing based on yeah what direction you need or where you want to mount it. I mean, yeah, the whole thing definitely sturdy, but it can ruin a little bit the light. I mean, it won't destroy it, but it, it will look not so nice anymore after short time i mean it's not a super expensive thing so then the thing with the back uh, light yeah we push here and then push again for the flashlight and push again for the slow flashlight and push again for off yeah it works pretty good when you when you touch it i mean when you push it uh, there's a little bit of strange sound hope, hope you can uh, hear that Yeah, I think it's not anymore. It was here before. Maybe it had to be uh, to get adjusted. I mean, it's working. I had it on my bike and it wasn't a problem to secure it. Uh, should be possible, even though there are just three lengths. But usually uh, it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, in my case, it fit uh, really good. So looks quite sturdy. But yeah, that's still the thing that it is not rechargeable we just have this yeah, point this down a little bit that's easier for me so uh, yeah we have these batteries here which are not rechargeable and we have some kind of a strange mix now we have this really nice powerful 
front light and we have this yeah which is okay but uh, definitely not rechargeable backlight and that's a mix which i really don't like i mean it works there's no problem the only problem which i see you always when you go on a bike ride you cannot just uh, recharge these two lights you would have to charge this thing to make sure you have 100% power and then you take one of the batteries with you all the time and I mean you can cut it like this and take it with you and uh, replace uh, I mean you would have to yeah you need two of them of course uh, take two of them with you all the time on the bike ride because you cannot charge. I mean, I'm not recharging the light every time I use it, but uh, I usually I'm using it a half an hour per day. So I was uh, recharging the bike light, my old one, once a week. And after a week, I know, yeah, it, there's no, not extremely a lot of charge left. So it's better to recharge. And I was good again. No, so I cannot do with this one. So I have all, always to think about taking some extra batteries with me. That's a little bit annoying. And that uh, is something which bothers me a little bit. But it's, uh, I mean, it, it, it definitely works. And you have to know if it fits for you. It's a really cheap price for something really nice, especially the flashlight especially that you can use it also as a really good strong versatile uh, flashlight that's a good thing twelve dollars we cannot complain if you can get it for twelve dollars yeah why not twenty dollars i probably wouldn't buy it for twenty dollars for twenty dollars i would definitely buy the bx300 which i've been testing before and we'll put down the link to both of these things i mean this one uh, the amagram and also the B BX300 into down into the description so you can check both of them out and order them right from there if you like one of these and I hope I was able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time